You know, I really don't want to come off sounding like an asshole, but this has just been on my mind for a very long time, and I need to talk about it. I am honestly getting sick and tired of seeing these anti-bullying e-campaigns, you know, on social media websites like Twitter, for instance. And I'm sure that they're all over Facebook, but I'm not actively going to look for them. Everybody nowadays is against bullying. It's kind of a fact. It seems that everybody doesn't want anybody to be a bully. And that's understandable. Nobody wants anybody to feel bad about themselves. I don't want anybody to feel bad about themselves either. But I am just not okay with the way that people are going about it. <clears throat> For instance, you see these Twitter trends that pop up all over the place, right? You see these Twitter trends and they say things like, fuck bullies, bullies are stupid, bullies are losers, bullies should be killed, you know, I don't know if that's what the actual Twitter trends are saying, but people have said that when I click on the Twitter trend, do you understand? People just say these things like, everybody should stop bullying, everybody needs to stop, everybody should be nice and 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 calm and cool and collected, but fuck bullies, you know? That's a disconnect in my mind. Those are kind of contradictory statements, you know what I'm saying? Let's be very frank here. Let's be very clear. You are not going to stop bullying. You're not going to do it. That's not me being mean. That's me trying to be a realist in this situation. You're not going to just stop it because you want it to stop. Bullies have always been around. And they're going to continue to be around. Because you're always going to get people that are assholes. For whatever reason. Things that I see, like Miss Lady Gaga. <clears throat> she wanted to actually talk to President Obama to to write an anti-bullying bu bill. A bu anti-bullying law. That is easier to say. I'm sorry. Despite all of Miss Gaga's good intentions... That is not going to happen. It's just not. You can't just go up to a bully and ask them, could you please stop doing that? They're, that's going to make them want to do it more. Here's my whole thing about this. You know, what I'm saying is like, you're never ever going to change another person. You may influence other people. You know what I mean? But this, but that influence has to come from within and they're going to look inside themselves and figure out what needs to be changed. You actively telling somebody to stop is not going to make them stop. And that's what I don't understand when I see these, these campaigns and everybody speaking out against how bad bullying is. You know, I just think that there are different ways that people could go about this, you know. Instead of just sitting there on your computer and just typing away about how bad bullies are in 140 characters or less, maybe create some sort of support system. Do you know somebody who is being bullied? Talk to them about it. Have a discussion. Here's the thing. If you keep these thoughts inside and bottled up, like people's stupid words that are just thrown at you every day, if you keep those inside and, and don't express them, then, yeah, you're going to be stuck in this quagmire of, oh, my God, maybe I'm not good enough. Maybe I'm not as pretty as the other girls. You know, you're going to just be stuck there. But, no, it just seems that people think it's enough to just to just say, I'm against it. You know, it's always a good idea to send good thoughts out to the universe. You know, I'm kind of hippie-ish in that way, I guess. My mom always tells me that, and she was a hippie. Sometimes that's just not enough. That puts you in, like, a nice mindset, but <laughs> me sitting here wishing I had a Bentley <laughs> ain't going to get me a Bentley. I got to work for that. I don't want a Bentley. I don't know why that was just the only expensive car I knew that popped into my head. Sometimes life throws you really ridiculous curveballs, and they throw you really fucked up <laughs> Road bumps. Every day is an adventure. Every day something crazy could happen, you know? It's just, it's like how you deal with this kind of stuff. But I'm not being bullied. 
I was, I, I don't know if I could ever say I was bullied. Maybe I don't understand the mindset that somebody who is actually really truly bullied is going through. I don't know. I got made fun of for a lot of stuff <laughs> in high school and in grade school because I'm a weird chick. And I know that. And I've accepted that. And I like that. I think that makes me unique. But, you know, um, I got made fun of for having a stupid haircut in eighth grade because I got my hair cut by a guy because I wanted my hair to look like Saria's in Legend of Zelda. I'm not even making this up. This is all true. I wanted to get a nice, cute little haircut, but a guy gave me a guy haircut and I look like a boy. I look like a little Italian boy and it was so bad. And I would get made fun of like they called me Gina Pet <laughs> and I would walk down the hall and they would go, J -j -j Gina. <laughs> <laughs> oh, kids are so mean. I got made fun of in high school because I was on the fencing team. <laughs> but out of everybody in my class, I was one of two that went on to play sports in college. So, snap. It seems to be all centralized, all this bullying seems to be centralized in high school, you know? And that, like, and I try to, like, when I come on here and make rants and try to make people laugh, like, I'm just trying to get you away from all, like, the bullshit drama that I know I went through in high school. Everybody goes through bullshit in high school. High school is a game of politics, folks. It's like, who's gonna be the popular one? And like, who's gonna be the outcast person? Like, oh my gosh, the outcast, we shouldn't talk to them. Or like, oh, she's too popular. Maybe I should like divert in the hallway when the jocks are coming. You know, it's all this game of like, like who's who? And it's so stupid, it's all bullshit in the end. And the worst thing that I see is just people's words, like, affecting people so much, you know? Like, you see on these Twitter trends, like, well, words hurt sometimes. Yeah, words can hurt. I think it's just, it should be a temporary kind of pain. You know, I get a comment, I get commented every day about people calling me a stupid bitch because of a video I made a year ago. Am I letting that affect me? <laughs> No. Am I a bitch? Sometimes. But it's, but here's the thing about the cyberbullying, you know, everybody on the internet is anonymous and they know it. <laughs> they can be anonymous and say these horrible things that they would not say to you in front of their face, in front of your face. And if they say it in front of your face, then that person's an asshole and not worth your time. Everybody has their faults. Everybody has their faults, but it takes, I feel, a strong person to admit that and not only admit it, but accept it and try to grow and work with it. Like my big faults in life, I feel like I'm entitled to things and I'm, com I'm very, very impatient. And I, yes, I can be very selfish sometimes. I'm an only child. And I know these things about myself. So what do I do? I work on them. I try not to think I'm entitled. I have to work every day. You know, I'm selfish. Well, maybe I shouldn't be selfish. Maybe I shouldn't be just thinking only about myself. You know, things like that. If anything could come from this horribly fast and disjointed, like, rant towards people, I just, I just, <laughs> I, I hate seeing when people get bullied. But I, but worse for me is how people horribly let these bullies affect them. And it it's not easy to forget about these things. I know, I understand that, it's not easy, but nothing in life is easy. Nothing in life is handed to you. You have to work on it and you have to find it in yourself to work on these things. And the best part about it is, I think that everybody has the potential to do it. I really do. I, to me, like, there's just not one person in this world that that could not better themselves in some way. And there is not one person in this world that I think could not feel good about themselves. I think there, I just think there needs to be a better support for any kind of anti-bullying campaign. I, I just don't see laws helping. I don't see just saying it over and over again. I just don't see that helping. Like, talk. Have a conversation. Don't conversate with people because that's not a word, but converse. Actually talk. Get your feelings out. Channel them into something else. I mean, I'm no expert on stand-up comedy. I mean, I've done a couple open mics now, but some of the stand-up comics that I've seen, like, even in general, 
Like, these, some of these people are, you know, they've had really shitty cards dealt to them, you know? But they were able to channel that and make people laugh about it. You understand? It's just, it's just the way that you are able to take things in. And again, it's not easy. It's hard. It's hard not to let things affect you. But that strength comes from here. <laughs> and if you, and if you are strong here, everybody's gonna say it. And... Honestly, I feel like it is a bit inappropriate for me to comment on um, suicides due to bullying because I don't know what that feels like. I've never been bullied. I've never been I've never been bullied to the point where I've wanted to take my own life. I've never been in that state of mind where I wanted to take my own life. It's just I've never been there. So it's just not I don't know what anybody would be thinking. And I just don't think it's fair for me to comment on that. And I just hope that if there's anybody out there that is considering it, please reach out. Because there's plenty of people, apparently, that want to help. If they are true for what they say in their Twitter trends, there are people out there that want to help. <clears throat> um, with that, you know, I... I I'm sorry if this was long, and I'm sorry... Oh, this is kind of long. I'm sorry if this was long, and I'm sorry if this was a mishmash of words, but it's just something I had to say. Um, with that, I'm going to go play Modern Warfare 3. <laughs> Good night, bitches.